All right, today we have a deck from Copycat. This has to be the best deck in Rivals. Obelisk, Scarab, <laughs> Sai B Wheels, Attack Beaks, Boogie, Bianchi, and Biasilisk. Perfect deck. What could go wrong? Feeling pretty good about our chances on this one. We could have played some slightly different unit set if we wanted to, but this is uh, this is what we're going with there. Like we had the potential for chemical buggy, and I feel like there was one more that had a B in it somewhere. I don't remember what it was now. There we go. J C Power, so close to J D Power, which obviously, as we know, would have been substantially better. Um, I guess I'm opening with the. Oh, I've got Cyber Wheels. I guess I can open Cyber Wheels. That's exciting. Imagine having a 10 cost unit in Credit Blitz. What a tryhard would bring a 10 cost unit. Oh, double half and they're level 8. Bruh. Chat, should I give this guy the credits? <laughs> should, I, should I surrender this one at the end? He clearly needs the credits more than I do. He's got scavengers as well. What else do I have for anti imp? I got buggy. Is that it? That's kind of it. I got basilisk. You bet he surrenders before me. That's to possibly, possibly gonna happen, yeah. That seems like something that could definitely occur. All right, we're gonna get, we're gonna get him with the scarabs. How long is this fire going to be there for? Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. An inferno? Bro, that's not... That's not the best unit to deal with scarabs. I promise you. <laughs> there are better choices out there. Oh, no! It's the scarab mirror! Oh, my God. The actual scarab mirror, chat. No one in chat has said that I should surrender to him. But very unfeeling chat today. No love for the no love for JC Power. Emote him. Okay, I'll give him a greeting. I feel like I'm a bit. Of, I feel like it's a dick move though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if emoting him is cool. I feel kind of bad now. Even with just the greet emotes. You meant more like a torn? Bro, oh, don't be so mean. Oh, I've got wheels. I can open wheels. The goat. He has wheels? Oh my god, what a time to be alive. My deck actually has pretty, like, my deck looks like a real deck at first. I've got, like, bike buggy uh, wheels. People, would, people wouldn't even know that I was playing a meme deck. Roboto still plays a lot of rivals. I believe that. I think Roboto is a rivals fan. He strikes me as a man who loves rivals. And who can blame him? Yo, leave my scarabs alone, man. What's wrong with you? So rude. This guy has zero chill. I don't think we're going to be able to scarab his tank to death, I'll be honest with you. What have I got? Banshee? I've got Banshee and Basilisk. Basilisk doesn't sound that realistic either. I think we're in trouble here, boys. I think we're in danger. You know what? We're gonna do the thing where we just let the 10 cost trade with the Scarab over and over. Because of the tempo. Unit 
it offline. Unit ready. So Unit ready. Okay. Unit offline. Can you actually hit it? Insane. Scarab's OP! Wow, Scarab's doing work, my guys. Scarab's doing work. Oh, now we're in trouble. I don't know if we can beat Banshee. Banshee too strong. Tell you what, man. You can just make a lot of Banshees, and that's a pretty good play. <laughs> just making a lot of Banshees seems pretty good, my guys. Has anyone else noticed this? Has anyone else noticed that making lots of Banshees is pretty good? If I'd won the first missile, I'd be all right now. I can make Basilisk. But unfortunately, since we're losers, the first missile losers, we're not in a position to do that. Imagine cat missiling my scarab friends. That's so not cool. I'm just gonna make banshees, my guy. It seems pretty good. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else has tried this. I think I might have. I think I might have invented a new strategy, chat. <laughs> I think I've invented a new strategy. It seems pretty good. God damn, Banshee is dumb. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Outrageous. Establishing battlefield control. There's a significant number of eyeballs, you're right. Is this the same dude? I don't want to Banshee spam him again. That was not... That was like... That was not a fun time. I felt real bad doing that. But I don't know how else to win. <laughs> I literally don't know how else to win, chat. Maybe if I go double half and make Basilisk, I can win without being a Banshee spammer. I think I still have to spam Banshees, though, because, like, I have to protect my Basilisk from his Banshees. So even if... Even if I, even if I didn't want to be a Banshee spammer, I don't think I have many choices. I could lose. That's my other option. My options are be a Banshee spammer or lose the game. I think that's it. That's all I got. Well, here it goes. So it begins. <laughs> Scarab to counter tank did not work out very well. Oh, the Banshee is really good, isn't it? Have you guys noticed how good this unit is? I feel like more people should be talking about the Banshee. I might double half and try and uh, try and basilisk now. I'll try something different this game. If we lose, then we know it's inferior than to just making banshees. If we lose this game, we know that basilisk is worse than making banshee. I actually have to lose a unit. I can't fight these. I can't fight these missiles until I lose a unit. So dumb. Such is the nature of the game that we call Command and Conquer Rivals. 
command. Missiles will smash them. Gonna brain them. Burning. Oika, Oika, rolling out. Defense online. Ready. You need rain. Oh, flippers! <laughs> the old flippy flips. Enemy base destroyed. Drolf, Drolfel. Three, two, one. New mission received. Harvester ready. Another wheel opening. What a time to be alive. Imagine this many opponents having 10 cost. I think I've played all the classes in D4 now. I don't think there is a class I haven't played. I feel like Barb is maybe the one I've played the least, but also I just don't, just didn't enjoy it very much when I did play it. Which is why it's the one I've played the least. Uh oh, we have ourselves a bike mirror traitor. I thought we were having a fun bike mirror where everyone was having a good time, and then this guy comes and makes a laser. That is uber lame, my guy. So much for fun bike mirrors. You always gotta deal with lame people making missiles. Fortunately, we have both buggy and gun on our roster. Which is effectively unstoppable. It's over, man. It's over. You can't beat the buggy and the gun. Just accept. Accept your fate. And go quietly into the night. What is this cheeky bike around the back? Uh oh, are we in danger? We are in danger. I should have moved this bike forward instead. That was the misplay. I've got so much basilisk. Like, not that far off, honestly. Yeah, not that far off. Pasky time. I suppose this was a predictable outcome. Other people have also learned the power of the Banshee. Unfortunately, he's forgotten about the power of the Basilisk. And the buggy. He's forgotten about the buggy power. No man can defeat the buggy. I don't know why I made an obelisk. It's not going to do anything. <clears throat> a nice inferno opponent. No, move, move, move. Oh, such a pun. Such a pun. You'd think having a basilisk <laughs> shooting at his stuff would improve my chances of killing these things quite a lot. <laughs> and you'd be wrong! Bro, he's learned. He's learned the power. 
He's watching my previous games and now he knows. It's over, my guy. Accept your fate. Do I have anything that can kill Banshee better than Banshee? I don't know if I do. I think my best anti-Banshee unit might be Banshee. Let's put some Scarabs in front of the Basilisk. That'll go pretty well. Oh, you think I care about my half? You grossly misunderstood this game. Also, who do we think is better at killing a half, if we're being honest? I got a lot of money. I can probably lose a half here. I could do with the extra pop cap, honestly. Oh, I like the half pull. That's cool. That's super cute. Just so he knows how much money I still have. Just so he's just in case he's wondering. If he's like, Matt, this guy must be almost broke. I just want him to know that the answer is, in fact, no. I am richer than Midas still. Yay. Surprised while your Baski was idle, you didn't set it on the half. Yeah, I'll be honest. I wasn't I wasn't putting 100% of my effort into that game. Alright, Daniel. Show me what you got. A rifleman, a eh? PDI's finest. He didn't walk into the initial concave, but he was happy to walk into the second concave. I think he just couldn't be bothered. He's like, you know what, I dodged the first concave, I'm off it now. I feel that way sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, I just can't be bothered with this opening duel. I'll just I'll just accept my fate. Hey what man, these rhinos are gonna clap my bikes. The jumpu jet? That's pretty scary. I don't know if I can beat the jumper yet. Maybe? Depends how buggy does. What else has he got? If he doesn't have like a proper vehicle to clear these buggies, then I can win. Just stack mad buggies. What's better than one buggy? Three buggies. What's better than three buggies, chat? Does anyone know the answer to that one? The next riddle? What is better than three buggies? Four buggies. Jeffrey gets it. Jeffrey knows. I don't think this guy can beat buggy. I haven't seen a unit that can beat buggy yet. So the question is, do we test this theory by making only buggies? Or do we like, do we, do we try and mix it up and make like a, uh, make like a banshee and by banshee i mean basilisk like do we make a basilisk or do we just make banshees um, and by banshee i mean buggy man having all these b units is uh, is too much for me i can't i can't remember what's what anymore jamie votes for just buggies all right it's a sad day when your deck just can't beat something in your opponent's deck buggy is one of the few units that can really do this right because it has like multiple i mean actually to be fair He's just got infantry. Like, there's nothing else. Like, he has he had some talons, but whatever, right? Talons wouldn't be any vehicle. How close are we to Basilisk? Pretty close. If we wanted to make a Basilisk, we could. But this guy literally can't beat buggies, so it doesn't seem like it's necessary. He could make rhinos. Rhinos beat buggies 1v1. He could have made only rhinos, and that would have beaten only buggies. So he was actually technically capable of beating only buggies. It's a buggy and a gun. That is true. I often forget that there's also a gun. 
That's really what makes it so OP. Buggy, 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 unit offline, buggy, buggy, unit offline, buggy. He had Orca? How does he have Orca? Bruh, I don't even... Alright, you... alright, see you next time, chat.